Hey. What? Do you think we can get people to agree that today we probably should have changed aprons? Just for like maybe today's episode? You, I don't hardly call that getting me out of trouble. Oh, you got us into trouble. And I had to get no, us out we, by ladling all the stuff. We do everything together. We got us into trouble, remember? Today, we, today, the apron should have been switched, guys. And I think everybody knows it. It's fine. But you know what? There's nobody in this world that I would rather race around the corner oh. to uh, to uh, cook together. And let me tell you this too while we're at it. The other day I did a cooking show by myself. I don't know if you've watched it yet or not. And old Dan here, who takes charge when you're with me, was a nervous wreck because I didn't have you with I me. I saw it. And uh, so I just want to say, baby, that I'm so glad that we cooked together because this would not be near successful. Y'all hear that? With just me by myself. Thanks. Now, I want to say this. After 28 years of being married to you. Almost 29 in December. Almost 29 years we've been married. There's not a whole lot you and I have not done together. Yes. Like, we've done almost everything together. Mm -hmm. You know what we've never done together? What? Never gone to prom together. No, we've never gone to prom. And I would like to take this opportunity right now in front oh of God. you and all of our other friends and family. And I would like to ask you to go to prom with me this yes, year. Yes, I would love to. Let me guess. You've already got a dress. I do. Damn, come it! <laughs> Am I late? How did you? Who was, was you gonna go buy me one? Who was you getting a dress to go prom with? I was gonna go to prom by myself. I don't need a date. Hey. But I do need a date. You I never do. have to go anywhere by yourself, baby, as long as I'm here, because I am yours. Thank you. All right, you guys ready to cook? Let's get after it. Okay, guys. Now that my baby has said yes to prom, we can move on. I, got a, I think I got a little tear in my eye here, baby. That's, uh -oh. Anyway, I think we can move on now to our cooking episode. Uh, episode 39. Baby, we're oh, almost at 40. Oh, I was going to put the chalkboard yep, out today. Yep, you were supposed to put the chalkboard out today. I think we should just leave the chalkboard on the counter. That way they don't ever forget it. Okay. But anyway. I'll try to remember, I promise. So, guys, listen. <coughs> um, we're going to make chili today. You guys have seen us make chili before. And, and I, I think that was like a long time ago. It was a long time ago. But the thing is, this is... Okay. So, we're supposed to be getting ready for a chili cook-off with our church that we're supposed to have, I think, next week. Well, I think somebody is going to be out of town now. So, I don't know if we're going to get to do the chili cook-off or I don't know what's going to happen. Yes. I think we're I'm, going to because I'm, we're just going to go late that okay. evening afterwards. All right. So, but anyway, um, I want to try something different with chili. I mean, we, we've made chili. It's one thing we've always made, right? We've made yeah. chili for a long time. Well, I'm going to try something different today. I'm going to see if I can try to get a little bit more flavor in my chili with some vegetables. Uh, I'm not so sure about it, but whatever. Well, you know what? We'll know today, and here's the deal. Yeah, we're, but that's just the thing, is today is our turn to cook lunch. Yeah, and we're this cooking. Is what we're yeah, this is Sunday for. lunch. This is not a Cooking with Dan and Lou episode on <laughs> Sunday afternoon. This is the main course today. So if this goes wrong, it goes wrong. But I, listen, I'm telling you. With the Holy Trinity, Holy Trinity of vegetables, onions, uh, bell pepper, and celery, and of course we're gonna add some jalapenos. You can't go wrong with it. That's only gonna boost flavor. It's not gonna tear up the flavor any. It can't. Like it can't. It can only help the flavor. So I'm just gonna throw a lot more vegetables in my chili this time. We're gonna see what it's gonna be like. But this is not the real episode. The real episode is what we're gonna do. You're talking too much. The real episode what we're going to do with this. We got four cornbreads. These are all lodge cornbreads. But yes, they're all from a bag, but they're all lodge. And I think we're going to cook two this week and compare. The whole family will be here for lunch, so the whole family can compare which, which cornbread they like the best. Baby, what is this one? True Southern. True Southern. Sweet 
Sweet spot. Sweet spot. I'm not sure what why am I, is, why am I copying it when you say? Why didn't you just read it yourself? <laughs> Hot shot jalapeno and sweet as honey. Just like you, baby. Sweet as honey. <laughs> He's full of it today, isn't he? Anyway, so today which ones we got? We're make, only gonna baby? make two today. Did yeah. you already say that? Yeah, we're only, oh. we can only make two. I for sure want to do sweet as honey because I love sweet cornbread. So we can either do jalapeno or we can do that southern. True Southern. Um, well, I just thought maybe not jalapeno since you're putting jalapenos in the chili. Okay, we'll just do True Southern. Uh, oh, True Southern? Okay, True Southern is what sweet is as honey is what we're going to do today. So this will be what we're really going to kind of showcase uh, with everybody else saying? in the family. Oh, true Southern, it says, I'm buttery and every bite. Ooh. I'll be your new favorite, sweet as honey. Oh, okay. All right, so anyway, this is the Lodge cornbread. You buy this straight from Lodge. Anyways, that's going to be kind of what we're really picking up on. Okay, guys, chili's easy. There's no sense in just kind of going through and showing you too much uh -oh. of this. This calls for buttermilk. We got some vinegar? We can just milk, mix milk and vinegar and make buttermilk. Mm. All right, we'll have to see about that then. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to get started we'll here. We'll get some real quick. And uh, we're going to get kind of started, get everything going, and then we'll come back and... Uh, and bring you back, bring you guys back with us. Okay, guys, so uh, I don't really know how small I should chop chop up all these uh, vegetables to go in. I mean, they shouldn't be big. I don't want big chunks. I want them small, right? So we're, are we gonna mince them up in that thing? Mm -hmm. In the, in the food processor? I'm just gonna like, do it a lot, just a little. Okay. Oh yeah, that's gonna be perfect right there. That's that's per I'm, I'm complimenting you because I already did it like this, and in the middle of it, you say not too too fine, and then like I don't know what I'm doing. Guys, we are cooking seven pounds of hold meat. on, hold on, seven okay. pounds of meat uh, for chili. That's how many people we got to we got to try to feed in this crazy family of ours. Seven pounds of meat is a lot of meat. Uh, make a big chili with. That's good. All right, here, a few more. All right, can anybody tell me the proper way? Well, I guess it don't matter if we're putting it in there. There's, there's no proper way, I don't guess, to do celery, right? Am I Just supposed cut to it up. Slice am I it. supposed to use any of this leafy stuff? No, leafy don't stuff? use the leaf stuff. None of the leaves. None of the leaves. Why are you asking when I'm standing right here and I know that? Baby, <laughs> I love you with all my heart. When have you ever cut up celery and put in anything? I used to eat celery all the time with like peanut butter on it and cream yeah, cheese and bacon to, bits. Right, but that wasn't to put into... Well, I mean, there's not very many ways you can cut celery up if you think about it. I mean... Oh, okay. Well. Just cut in that. chunks and throw it in here. Okay, baby, you got it. All right, so not the white stuff. Ugh, this better cook down good. I better not bite into crunchy celery. It won't be crunchy anyway if you do bite into it. Once it's cooked. Only way I like that. raw celery is with peanut butter or cream cheese and bacon. Oh, peanuts. no, ranch. Ranch on celery. Or raw with ranch. I will eat this piece of celery right here right now. Mm. Raw celery. Mm. Yeah. The addition of these vegetables in my chili. It's just that chili... The chili sauce or the seasoning, it just seems like it overshadows any other taste sometimes in the, in the chili. That's why you can use like- But that's because it's chili. What do you, what you're saying does not make sense to me when you say that. We're making wanna, chili. We want it to taste wanna, like chili. Wanna, yeah, but I want to taste other flavors besides just this. Like I want to taste other flavors. I mean, I, I get that it's chili. 
I don't understand. Okay. That doesn't make sense. If you're making chili, you want it to taste like chili, not soup. Then why would you add anything? Uh, why would you add rotel to it or tomatoes? Or I mean, why would you do any of that? Or beans? But you still don't want to overshadow the flavor of chili. I don't want to overshadow the flavor. I just want to, I want to knock it down just a hair and have some other some other good flavors in there with it, like what we're trying to do today. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know. I'm no expert. I don't know what that is. You ready to chop some of this stuff? I've been waiting. Been waiting on me. <laughs> We're going to DC. I guess y'all can tell I don't like hot, spicy stuff. Sometimes I do, but not so bad it burns your mouth you can't even hardly eat. Okay, so did you like the onion rings the other night? Yeah. Guess what they had in them? I'm sure they had jalapenos in no, them. No, they had jalapenos. <laughs> had a bunch of cayenne pepper. You, you said. <laughs> You said you watched the video. I didn't watch the, I said I watched some of it. I didn't watch all of it. That just breaks my heart. I haven't had time. Okay. Uh, we're gonna DC these real quick, guys. Get them in there. Let's get everything cooking. We'll come back here in a minute. I don't know if you guys ever DC'd jalapenos, but a spoon and a split and half jalapeno and literally, it's that, it's one stroke that easy. Who taught you that? Huh? Who taught you that? Man, some hot chick that I used to be around taught me that. You're slinging seeds everywhere. Who was that? I ain't slinging seeds, I'm slinging meat. I'm slinging something every time. Stop. You stop. I'm saying I'm just slinging things every time I cook. That's how it goes. I was slinging onion rings the other day. You wanna know who that hot chick was that taught me how to do this? Mm -hmm. Oh, What's your name? Don't say it. Huh? Don't say it. You, baby. You told me that. You know it. I thought you was going to say something else, though. <laughs> what was I going to say? My first name or something. Oh, no, I would not do that, baby. Come on. Okay. One other thing. I didn't use no gloves. I'm a man. Oh, your hands are going to be on fire. I'm a man. We don't do things like that. I want to read y'all something real quick from last week. I'm going to put these vegetables in. Go ahead. In. Two comments I want to read from last week. Y'all want to see? Real quick. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, first one is, I'm starting to think when Lou isn't on camera, she is a kiss. Or kiss. Let me start over here. I'm starting to think that when Lou isn't on camera, she is just a fish killing machine. And that's true. And that's from uh, Biggie3290. And then we got one more here. And I thought this one was hilarious. Of course, we're back to the old patty cake, patty cake baker, Dan thing from a week or so ago. It says, Dan, you are so manly and you can keep your man card no matter what kind of nickname you have. Uh, patty cake, patty cake, baker, Dan. Don't call me girly because I'm a man. <laughs> oh, y'all are just giving him a big head. Oh, I love that one right there. I want, I want to pin that one like on my wall somehow or something. That was isn't that pretty? Really Look, awesome. it makes like a pretty flower. Oh, it does. That is awesome. I seen this video one time. Oh wait, I didn't say that. I'm talking. I'm I didn't say that story. was from. Real quick, I'm gonna forget. I didn't say that was from. Go ahead. I seen this video one time, and they cut celery and made it look like this. Then they dipped it in some paint. And then they made a stamp out of it. Oh, that's cool. Pretty good idea, huh? Charles Crafty Shop. Come up with that one right there. Uh, you did not show no interest in what I just said. Baby, I forgot At somebody's all. name. I'm so sorry. But you you, what did flower. I say? What did I say? You said it was a pretty flower. No. Then what was my story afterwards? Tell me your story afterwards. Please tell me again. I'm so sorry. Please That's tell just me. proof right there that okay, you don't listen tell me to me story when I tell you I'm so something. sorry. You're right. I, I did that. So they cut the celery like that and made it look like the flower. And then they dipped it in some paint and then they used it as a stamp. So it made a flower. It yeah. made a flower stamp. Where would you do that at? The painting with a twist? I saw a video of that. Oh, time. a video. Well, that's awesome, baby. That's cute. I better start listening. All right, so uh, 
She's looking at me crazy because she wasn't back over here yet. Throw, I wait for you up, to get please. back. Pull my sleeve up, please. Okay. So now that she's back over, I do want to tell y'all that we are going with, with deer meat. It's going to be our main. Oh, that did all the way in freeze. And then, of course, one thing we've always done, or, or old Dan's done always, is I add sausage to my uh, hamburger meat or deer meat or whatever. Just to try, again, to try to give it just a little something extra so it's not all about the the chili chili. Uh, Boy, I'm gonna tell you You're going to have fun opening all those cans. That's what you should be doing while I'm doing this meat, unless you want to put your hands in the meat. Nope. Why not? Where is our electric can opener? Oh, you're going to use electric, girl. You have to do it, but if I had to do it, I was going to do it the old-fashioned way. I never said you were doing it the old-fashioned way. Oh, you're going to let me do it with the can well, opener? It's not my fault you didn't think of the electric can opener. <laughs> Well, maybe I'd like to use the cake mixer for this meat right here. Nope. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, guys, we just want to get our hands in there and mix it good. Yes, my hands have been washed. <laughs> guys. What? What's the matter? I want to tell you them what tell happened. Them what happened to you? Yeah, I'm going to tell them what happened to me. Can you go to the other side, please? I'm just opening these things. I know, but I want to see the chili, maybe. Or the... Anyway, let me tell y'all what happened. So, I'm over here with my metal spoon, and I'm stirring this around, you know, trying to get the meat browned up. Slinging crap everywhere. Slinging crap everywhere like always well i had a bunch of vegetables on my spoon so i kind of did that number right there did it with this hand though bam bam and i felt something fly up and literally land inside my little ear cavity right here just right there on the tip so i reach it in and pull it out and guess what it was a jalapeno seed and uh now my ears burning like crazy and some a-hole over there can do nothing but laugh about it. Because like it's funny. Let me put a jalapeno seed in your ear no, to see how it feels. I didn't do it to you. I can put it on my hands because I'm a man, but I don't like them in my ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, living life with this girl right here, guys, has definitely been an adventure. I don't know, maybe I'm feeling a little romantic today after my little gesture. I'm gonna tell y'all something right now. That's about as romantic as old man. And I and I know that wasn't very good. Like I get it that that wasn't like an excellent like proposal to to uh, go somewhere together or whatever, but that's about all you're ever gonna get off out of old Dan. And that's okay because I'm not a romantic person either. No, she ain't. No, she ain't. But that's okay. We love each other. And we don't need all the... We don't have to have all the romance all the time. We still have a now and then we get a little bit romantic. How? Well, I don't know. What's the last thing we did romantic? You proposed to me for wrong. <laughs> okay, before that, what was the last thing we did romantic? Uh... Honestly. Am I supposed to know this, or are you asking I'm me? I'm asking you. I'm oh, asking I don't you. If you know. don't know, I'm going to be pissed. You know? You, know? you know the no, last thing? Okay. No, I don't. <laughs> All right, that's a good question. Let me think about this yeah. one. We're going to come back to y'all and tell y'all what the last romantic thing we've done was. Okay. Okay, so I, I want to explain something. Did I cut you off? It's okay. Go, no, I'm, I'm okay with that. Go ahead. So, I know y'all probably seen, and was wondering, you probably couldn't see these. This is, I don't know how everybody else eats chili, but everybody in our family likes to eat chili different. And yes, we put beans in our chili. And we and do put, put beans, put beans yeah. in our chili. We like to eat it with cornbread, or saltine crackers, 
Or Jacob's favorite is corn chips. And it's like a Frito pie and he'll put cheese on it also, plus maybe some sour cream. And some people like to eat it with rice. So we make a variety of sides to put our chili with, in case y'all was wondering. I know at work, when I take chili to work and I have rice, some people say, you're eating rice with your chili? That's weird. And then when they taste it, they actually like it. But so, I always thought this was a normal thing yeah. until... Yeah, so my mom has always put beans in her chili. We've always had it. We've always <laughs> eaten crackers and rice with chili. And his always. mom makes an awesome, awesome uh, Frito pie casserole, I guess you could say. She makes it in the oven. It's so good. Yeah, you just got to be careful so, to get good Fritos so that they, they don't, don't get soggy. soggy. Yeah. What are, what are those Fritos? That's not name brand. Okay. They're Kroger brand. They're really the same. Okay. Honestly. But I'll, let me say this real quick. Well, first of all, Luke, tell me, well, baby, don't go over there right now. You made don't, a mess. Don't go over there right now. One second that you was yeah, over there. Me. This baby, snow. I said don't go there right now. It's going to clean it. Okay, what? Tell them about the cornbread. We have to do a swap out. Oh, yeah. We don't have any buttermilk. All we have is regular milk. And we don't have to go to the store we in got, between. We've got to go to church here in like 30 minutes. We're actually cooking before church. Yeah, we're getting ready to go to church. So we're gonna make just the sweetest honey and the sweet pot. And that's probably better. The sweet pot, it. sweet spot sweet cornbread. Pot. That's probably better so we can compare two sweets and then next time we'll compare two traditional. A regular styles. and a jalapeno. But milk. guys, I got to say one more thing, and uh, I'm a McCormick guy, but there is no way in this entire world that I'm gonna try to buy 45 different ingredients to make a, a pot of chili home. I, I will buy this package stuff oh, yeah. every Wait, single time. You need different seasonings? Yeah, I'm never uh -huh. gonna buy 45 seasonings to try to put uh -huh. in chili to make it. I don't I don't even see where all the ingredients are here. Maybe there's not quite 45, but there's a bunch to make this up. And I would right. never well, do let's that start from, pouring those in here. from scratch for sure. Is that all of them? Yeah. That's all of them, baby. All right, we're almost done with this thing. It's the cornbread is gonna be the prize. Folks, we have a problem. No, I don't think it's a problem. I think it's pink. Okay, well, let me see. Do you guys think that anything else is gonna fit in those in that pot? Like two, four, six, seven cans of beans? I do. I Will think seven cans of beans fit in that pot? It's not gonna happen. It's gonna fit. Baby, it ain't gonna fit. Yeah, it's gonna fit. It's gonna be fine. It's not gonna. Wanna we're see? gonna have to do a pot transfer, baby. No, we're just not Take gonna. Take some of the juice out of those beans. We got enough juice. We can add some water if we need to. Pour some of the juice out. Okay, hold on. In the last few. <laughs> this is not gonna. Baby, it's to the brim. It's okay. It's to the brim. It'll be fine. You're not going to stir it. We need to do a pot transfer. The pot's going to be too heavy to transfer yeah, anything. Yeah, you're right. We're going to leave out one can of beans? Yep. <laughs> We're done. It's going up. It just overflowed. Yeah. It's overflowing everywhere. Stop. Can't stop now. You can't mess with it anymore. Just what stop. are we going to do? Why did you do that? Stop. Why did you do that? Stop. Why did you do that? Turn it off. No, why did you do that? No, turn I it off. I told you not to do camera. that. Look what Daniel's having to do. Yeah, we're doing a pot transfer, guys, because somebody wouldn't flip and listen. This is ridiculous, baby. This is ridiculous. The ladle. You're never going to pick that pot up anyways. In a minute, I'm not going to label this whole thing out. Look at, we got to go to church. Look at the mess he made. No, I didn't make a mess. <laughs> they all seen who made the mess. You're going to have to ladle, 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 how do you say it? Ladle. It all out. Because you, when you pick up that pot to pour, it's going to splatter everywhere and make a bigger mess. So you want me to do some? No, I just, you know what I want to happen more than anything in this world? What? Is for everybody watching this channel to see that Lou is not always what y'all think she is. And sometimes she needs to listen. 
But Are you a little bit sour right now? No, but I'm sure everybody will come and jump to defend you. Like, oh, look, I want to put them in there, too. <laughs> <laughs> I want to it, too. You go, girl. You rock. Oh, my gosh, Lou. I can't believe you let them label it out of there like that. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I made a mess. It'll so be maybe, okay, though. I don't think it's going to pick it up and pour now. No, you can't. Baby, Still, I'm you can't. It was, I promise, if you pour, it's going to make a bigger mess than what I made. It will splatter everywhere. I'll sit, I'll dip the rest out. you're realizing that you made a mess. I'll dip the rest out. Let me have it. Okay, guys. The, the disaster's been taken care of. Everything's kind of clean again, except for way down underneath there. So we'll have to get that so this is done. But that is a massive pot of chili. Massive pot of chili. And that would have been big enough minus say a pound of meat's worth of ingredients so if we was going to do six pounds we probably could have done it in there but that seventh pound threw it over the edge so we'll know that from now on in the future anyway problems uh taking me care ooh, ooh, can't talk problems been taken care of we'll see you guys after church when we finish up our uh cornbread and uh be ready to go from there babe Yep. We're doing our cornbread and these, right? Yep. Might as well sit them out. Yep. Let's get these going. <clears throat> a little bit, a little bit big for cornbread. It won't be real thick. It's going to be more. Uh, Those are pretty big bags of cornbread. Yeah, it'll be more round, I think, than thick. But boy, look at them skillets right there. Boy, that's perfectly seasoned up skillets right there, son. Oh, I love that stuff. Baby, we got to preheat this oven. So let me get these pans uh, preheated. 350. Yeah, I don't know. We gotta get them hot. Well, I gotta get the rice going. You know what, can I put these in there? We gotta preheat our pans for that cone bread. You got this back on? Yep. Okay. I got a little bit higher right now. We need to get the oil, milk, and I'll get the milk and eggs. Uh. We don't need vegetable oil. It's in the bottom cabinet. Ah. How much, sweet? Can we use butter instead of vegetable oil? Mm. One of them did call for a whole stick of butter, but that must have been the other one. How much butter do we need? We don't use butter. How much oil? One fourth a cup plus one tablespoon. A quarter cup plus a tablespoon? That's spoon? what it says. Okay, here's your tablespoon. Here's your quarter cup. That was entirely too much. No, it wasn't. I know these things, sweetie. I know these things. One cup of whole milk. A cup. Is that it? 3X. Oh. <laughs> I'll do it myself. You ain't doing it. Ooh. It didn't break. Supposed to be something. I know. We ain't got time for all that today. <laughs> We're in a hurry. Oh, you got more eggs there. Save that. We have to throw that away because Bree needs them. Three eggs. And we're good. Yeah? Yep. We don't have a whisk. I remember Bree took my whisk. Are you stirring? Just, you. a tiny bit more talented than me at getting it out of the bowl. Just a tiny bit. You're dripping. Here, will you get the rest of this out of the bowl? Mm. 
All right, guys, so, so everybody knows, everybody's on the same page. We've got two different pans. They're like the same size pans. One has a handle on it, one does not. The one with the handle is the, ow, gosh, that's hot. The one with the handle is called Sweet as Honey. This one here is called what, Sweet Spot? Yes. So Sweet as Honey with the handle, Let's Honey the Handle. Man. Open the oven. Remember, Honey Handle. Honey Handle. Spot not. Sweet Spot does not have a handle. I think y'all said I could put those in the oven, those fields in the oven with the pots, I hope. So cornbread, cornbread, chili. I've got to show y'all these cornbreads. There's Sweet Spot. There is Sweet as Honey. I know a lot of people don't like sweet cornbreads, but we, we kind of do here. Ooh, boy, yeah, we're gonna have to cut those in like, yeah, let me cut those up so we can everybody get a taste test for sure. We got, boy, look at loose, or not loose chili, look at Dan's chili. It's loose chili because you copied my recipe, except for your vegetables is all. <laughs> Baby, I did not. Yes, you did. Just admit it. Anyway, goodness gracious, that's gonna be nice. All right, let me cut up this home bread. I love the boots Kim tried on. Shirt. All right, everybody, I got an announcement real quick here. Did you buy them boots? You're going to notice that there's two different cornbreads. Okay. I've cut them into very small pieces so that you can get one piece of each cornbread. Okay. Okay, then you're going to tell us which one you like better at the end, and then we'll tell you what it is. Okay. Or if you don't like them, tell us what it is because we don't want people to go buy them or anything. We're just doing a cornbread tasting right now. No, we'll do, no you can do it with your food. Oh, no, we can do it with your food. Oh, just, uh, but that's kind of kind of be the object of the day. Anyway, y'all ready to pray? Yeah. Yes. Heavenly Father, thank you for the state you've given us, Lord. Thank you for everybody that's here, Lord. We just thank you that uh, we just thank you for this whole family, Lord, and and what each one of us means to one another, Father. And we just thank you that that we're all together, and we praise you for that, Lord. We just ask that you bless this food, the nourishment of our bodies. Uh, bring us all back next week somewhere safe and sound. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hey, on the cornbreads. Hey, listen. Guys, on the cornbreads, remember, there's one pot with a handle. There's one pot without a handle. That's how you're going to tell us which one you like the best. the bottom of the to the frog. Did anybody understand that? They would have loved that scene. Huh? No, no, no. The other handle. Oh, yeah. The little handle. Would be G, G? Yes, you see how this pot don't have a handle? Yes. That one does on the other you end? You have to get used to walking the right one, one with the handle or without? I just feel like everybody's talking and nobody's listening about the handles on the dang cornbread. Okay. I know the assignment. I know what the was, assignment. What was the assignment? Beautiful. There's two pots of cornbread. One has an extra handle on it, one doesn't. See the handle on the end? Yes. That's how you're going to tell us which pot you like I'm the best. I'm keeping mine separated. <laughs> so I'll know what. Okay. The other little handle. I'm gonna Dad. I'm going to come straight here. Yeah. Excuse me. What, but you've told Lou three times how good the chili is. I, this is my chili. I made this chili. It may be called Dan's chili, but I know the brother who cooked it. No, I made it with my own recipe. Lou. Lou see, Lou can't say that. See, poor Lou. You can put her on the spot. She, she, she knows. Lou, who made the chili? We both did. Yeah. We both put it together. Whose recipe? <laughs> McCormick's. Oh, never mind. Just forget it. You know. Yes. God's going to deal with you, baby. Dad, Dad. Excuse me, but it's very good chili, okay? Thank you, Dad. Very good. Thank you. I appreciate that. I love it. Don't be careful Dad. that, too. Which cornbread? I told you already. Yeah, I wasn't filming anything. Sweet spot. Sweet spot. Buddy, which, which cornbread? Uh, sweet spot. Sweet spot. Dad, which cornbread? I'm going to go with honey this time. Honey, you going to change it? <laughs> I did this to everybody a minute ago, guys. I wasn't filming anything. Mom. The number one, I think it was. Sweet spot. Yes. Honey. Rob, honey. Honey. Honey, honey. honey I like spot. the honey. Yeah. Sweet spot. Dad, you said sweet spot earlier. Yeah, I was sweet, I was sweet spot. Yeah. What about you? Hey, Dad, say honey. Are you broken, huh? All right, guys. Uh, so I think the sweet spot and the honey, they're both good cornbreads. Uh, let's see how much. 
Oh, we still got a bunch of chili. I'm sure that'll go home with somebody. Hey, guys, thanks for joining us. All the family, we'll catch y'all later. And uh, anyway, me and Lou will be back here just, just shortly. Okay, so this was one of the loudest lunches that I can remember having in a while. Yeah. Uh, everybody's a little bit rambunctious today. But anyway, hey, guys, <clears throat> oh, Lou got asked to a prom today. And she said yes, so that's one highlight of the day. Uh, the second one is uh, my cornbread one. We, uh, uh it wasn't a competition. There was nothing competitive about the cornbread. <laughs> well, I just nothing. Wanted, I just wanted to say that, that my cornbread No, one. no. Okay. Just because the one you liked the most won, that well, doesn't yeah. mean that it was your cornbread. I mean, but more people like the sweet spot than they did the honey one. Okay. Anyway, nice hey, guys, seriously, the cornbread was very, very good. I like, maybe, to me, that may have been like the best cornbread that I've eaten. I'm just throwing it out there. Better than mine? What did you make? The cornbreads I've ever made in our life, it's better than oh, yeah. mine. Oh, yeah, we'll keep buying that from lunch. <laughs> it's good cornbread. Really good cornbread. Anyway, uh, the lunch was good, baby. I hate to say this. I know you're gonna disagree. The vegetables that we put in the chili actually made a big difference. Okay, well that's your chili. That's fine. Do you do you agree or disagree? It was good. I'm not saying it was bad. It was good. Let's stand like this. I don't like it when you look at me with that with that tone that you was looking. No, no, now you're gonna roll your eyes at me. I can't see. <laughs> How did you know that? Yeah, we have because I know I know how you are. <laughs> anyway, anything else, babe? Good episode today, I think. Uh, it's probably gonna here. be a long one. Yeah, I'm gonna try my best to shorten it down. I don't know. And there's a bunch of chili. We there. overcooked totally, like a bunch of rice. You made me go back and make all that rice, and we could have just stuck with what I, I made. I wasn't thinking about the Fritos mm -hmm. and all this stuff. So, yeah, that was my fault, too. So, uh, I think next time, I mean, Larry and Bree wouldn't here. They wouldn't eat that much. Jake and Lisa wouldn't here. They still wouldn't eat that much. I'm thinking maybe next time we do this, we're going to go, we're going to maybe go to five pounds of meat total, not seven. And mm -hmm. ingredients for five pounds. So, anyway. All right, guys. Listen, thank you all for sticking with us. Um, hope y'all enjoyed it. Sweet spot cornbread. If you want to order any from the lodge, the lodge. store or all of it was time. good, really. I mean, I ate both of them. They're both. Good. But the sweet spot is good, and then maybe in a week. Maybe or you so, like sweeter. You never know. Why are you hollering at them? <laughs> maybe in a couple of weeks we'll cook the jalapeno and the southern style cornbread, and uh, see which one of those uh, are the best. But anyway. Until then, guys, we'll catch y'all later. Thank y'all so much for joining us. Bye.